So um, I'm making this because there have been a couple of questions about our extra credit looking into uh, some Black mathematicians for Black History Month. Um, this slide here has some information about how Black History Month came to be. This is a source you can check on. And um, here's another source here. They're really pretty great. So take a peek. Second slide here is about, um, uh, it's, I'm sorry, it's a video clip from Hidden Figures and um, enjoyable to watch. This is a real life mathematician, Katherine Johnson, that we um, celebrated last year in um, Black History Month. Um, on the day that she passed, we were going to look at her biography a couple of days later, and unfortunately, we lost her at 101 years old last year. Um, she was one of the three real life Black mathematicians who were highlighted in the movie Hidden Figures. Something like this is what your um, report on your mathematician should look like by the end of this to earn the extra credit I'm offering here. These are some mathematicians that I've given some information for you on. Um, if you choose one of them, when you click on the next page, it's gonna give you a picture of that person and some links to um, information. You don't have to use just these, but you can use them to answer these questions. Uh, the project is worth 40 extra credit points. There's four boxes here, but they're not exactly worth 10 points each. The first is pretty simple. Um, the second and third are probably where the majority of the points earned will come from. Uh, if I decide, like I've looked through her and been like, oh, she's interesting, but I think I want to see who else is here. You can go back and click on one of these others. Again, you'll get another picture and different links on that person. Um, if you've chosen one of these, when you look at slide five or six after five, you don't have to do anything here or here. These two slides are only if you're choosing your own mathematician. If you want to do that, you're going to click on this bottom section on slide four. Um, and when you get to slide five, it's going to have you skip it. On slide six, this is where it's a little bit different because you're going to go find a picture of your mathematician. You can click plus here and click on image and then find an image that you have found of your mathematician somewhere. Um, I'm going to go to my desktop and find a picture I actually have of Katherine Johnson. Actually, I'm going to put Baby Yoda on because he's cute. And I made him. Oops, he's sideways, but you get the idea. Let's see if I can turn him. Nope, that was reverse. Uh, I'll bet I can edit it over here. Well, I would play with this a little bit if I was really going to use this. Um, on the next page, that's where it's going to have space for you to put your mathematician um, facts that you found about it, about this person. Type the name here, when and where they were born, et cetera. Um, in this top box, it might be a great place for you to also put where you found your research. Since I've provided you with some links um, for the people that are, are listed here, you might use this space to let me know what sources you used to find um, your mathematician. And I might add this for my students next year for Black History Month when we dig into some of the great mathematicians of the past. All right, so I hope for those of you who had questions uh, that this helps. Thanks.